Hello everybody, this is Bud and we need to talk about gaps, 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 I3 gaps. Uh, four days ago, Airblader made a PSA, a PSA everybody, which actually stands for a public service announcement campaign. Uh, it doesn't stand for prostate specific antigen. Uh, uh, if it's on uh, social media, then it's a public service service announcement. I had to look it up because I had no idea what that meant. But this is a perfect. <laughs> this is a public service announcement. I three gaps has been merged into I three, so I three gaps is dead. Long live I three gaps, because now that all the functionality that was provided by I three gaps will now from uh, version 4.22 of i3 will be included yeah in the main i3 window manager and i3 gaps will actually get uh, archived and yeah unmaintained discontinued and it, it will not and that's not bad it's uh, that's just good uh, now every we will not have two versions of the same window manager basically uh, divided community co complications for the package maintainers of all the distributions this is very very good uh, for the i3 project and everyone using it uh, it might get a, a bit chaotic who knows but i i think this will uh, pan out really well um Reading this Reddit uh, announcement here uh, on the i3wm subreddit, uh, there are some questions and, and responses and answers from Airblader and I uh, don't remember exactly where it was but uh, I could see that uh, he said something that uh, the maintainers of i3, uh, they have had uh, an in-person yeah meeting they have met each other like in in real life and this is kind of one of the side effects of that meeting was that they could finally agree on how to proceed with the merging of i3 gaps which is something that has just been talked about but it hasn't really happened um, and that's really cool and the thing is, this 4.22, you know, uh, I, it wasn't that long ago, it's just a month or six weeks ago or something, when the last release of i3 uh, was released, 4.21, uh, there ha has already been a bug fix release, I will talk a bit about that, because it's really good, uh, 4.21.1, uh, but 4.22 will actually be released quite soon, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's see, here we have the umbrella support gaps thread here. Uh, it's like an issue thread started on June 17, 2019. So over three years ago, uh, they started discussing how to, to do this. Um, and um, late in this thread here, just like yesterday or something, someone was asking if... Um, they will be able to release this before the next uh, Debian stable release so, so that this feature will be included in the i3 package on Debian yada yada and uh, they are really they really want to make that happen uh, and as far as I can tell they will try to release this uh, like late early mid December which is like just a couple of weeks away Possibly January, but I would guess they will uh, actually uh, uh, make the 4.22 release before Christmas. It would also be like kind of a nice Christmas present, you know? <laughs> and yeah, or whatever, who knows? But early mid December, possibly January. That is very early. They usually only make these releases. In the fall so it is usually like one year between the i3 releases but now this time it will be just a couple of months uh, and in the reddit uh, announcement here the PSA uh, I 
think he Airblader is saying that yeah here it is what's next for now the changes has been merged so in the next branch of i3 in, in the, the the branch is actually named next i know that's a bit confusing to say the next branch but the branch is named next so if you clone uh, git clone this you will get uh, the state of this branch here and uh, the gaps functionality is included in that. I have actually not tested this myself, but I will do this, uh, do that now after this video I, I had planned. Um, and Airblader is asking people to do this, to actually test out uh, the gaps uh, features or functionality here to see that there is, uh, to make sure that everything is working correctly and that is also what they are uh, Stoppelberg said hey, here in the time estimation uh, um, discussion that uh, it depends on how much uh, uh, um, how much uh, feedback we get here uh, how fast they can make sure that everything is working correctly that also will, will uh, um, make it faster th the release uh, happen faster as far as i can see here i have considering uh, depending on how many user reports uh, we get in terms of breakage or successful test reports so and i have a feeling this as far as I can see, because I have looked into uh, what they have done here a bit, and it looks like they are more or less just taking i3 gaps, merging it into i3. So it will, it will have all the pros and all the cons of i3 gaps, except for some things here. For example, this is like a fix, an improvement over i3 gaps. Uh, there were some graphical artifacts when gaps were enabled with title bars. Uh, uh, which has been fixed in in in, um, in the yeah the new version of i3 here, which is really really cool. Um, but the, other than improvements, it it seems to be the exact same thing. And it also it's important to understand it includes everything from uh, uh, i3 gaps, which means <laughs> two more things. One of them is. The ability to set the height of the bar of i3 bar because um, <laughs> up until now it hasn't been possible to configure the height of the bar it uh, the height of the bar is automatically calculated depending on the font size and this is actually the reason why i initially didn't want to use i3 bar because i i use my signature overlaying bar on top of the window titles you know now it's normal window titles then this status bar thing it's just overlaying on top of them uh, but this only works if the bar is in a very specific has a very specific size uh, is it this one yes so you see here sure i can increase the, the size but then it kind of hides part of, of the windows and stuff like that and you don't want it too small either because that would uh, then you would instead see the window title now now we get the stupid red box there but now you see now i can see a small part of the window title you don't want that either you want a very specific exact size in my case here it's 20 pixels not one pixel less not one pixel more please but you cannot do that with i3 bar then if I would use i3 bar uh, with my uh, preferred font, I think it's like 22 pixels and that means it's slightly larger or maybe it's slightly smaller than the window titles. I don't remember uh, which way it was, but it wasn't possible to configure it. With i3 gaps, you can actually configure that by using the setting bar height. I have no idea why that has never been included in i3. Uh, I, I don't remember. There is probably some stupid discussion about it, but now that will actually be included in this uh, 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 next release. Another thing that will be included is uh, uh, support for transparency in color values. I haven't really figured out if it's just for i3 bar or if it applies to like window decorations and stuff like that. I think it's only for the bar. 
but I'm not 100%. No, here it is. What's the plan for RGBA visuals in ITV bar? That will also be included. So, this new version will include those three features. The main one being gaps, of course. With all uh, that is included in that, you know, inner gaps, outer gaps, blah, 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 smart gaps. Uh, but it will also have support for setting the height of I3 bar, which is completely unrelated in a way to I3 gaps, but that has just been a feature of I3 gaps for a long time. And RGBA uh, uh, feature for colors in I3 bar. So a little bit more customizable I3 bar. Um, but other than that, there are no other differences between I3 gaps and I3 as it is uh, even without this uh, uh, next version. Uh, most of the functionality, because there were more functionality in I3 gaps, uh, or there used to be functionality in I3 gaps that wasn't available in I3. For example, I think uh, using X resources for um, to get settings for colors and stuff like that. Uh, that was a feature in I3 gaps for, for years before it got uh, uh, merged into to the official uh, uh, I3 repository. And I think there, there might be one or two more features like that. Uh, so now these are the only three left, but now they will, all of them will get merged and Airblader will finally be freed. I, I am I am like really happy for him for this because I, I I know that this has been very annoying for him uh, that he he has just by a coinkadink uh, uh, become the maintainer for both i3 and i3 gaps and that uh, it's kind of cool here actually you can see. Uh, um, here he links to the Unix porn post that he made seven years ago uh, where he, yeah it's just him posting his rice but this is actually the first images of uh, i3 gaps and he got like 64 karma points for that or 65 now someone has upvoted it since I, I, I last viewed it here uh, and uh, uh, um, yeah, he, he's been using Ubuntu, switching from Unity, so this is his first time using a tiling window manager and he, he kind of patched i3 to use this new i3 gaps thing that has that was floating around at, at the time um, and, and created like a, a fork of i3 called i3 gaps now, so that was a full fork, not just a patch. And that's how everything started. And then Airblader became like the main maintainer here and he had <laughs> he must have uh, poured so many hours in, into this throughout the years, you know, throughout these seven years that have passed and he also became the maintainer of i3 and has had these two shares like this and two projects. Uh, so it's like this guy gets like twice as much free time. Uh, which he really deserves uh, by this happening. Uh, you don't have to like gaps. I actually don't like gaps. And if I'm not mistaken, now he doesn't say anything about it here in this thread, but I know that I have heard Airblader mention uh, that he doesn't even use gaps himself anymore. Uh, and I, I don't use gaps, as you know, and I think gaps is, is kind of an anti-feature when it comes to tiling window managers. It, it really defeats the, the main purpose why at least I use a tiling window manager, which is maximizing uh, screen real estate, uh, which is something that you really want to do when you are developing, writing programs and code and you need like one window with the editor then you need some other stupid window with like uh, text output and then you might have a graphical window with the graphical uh, uh, um, or with the actual program if you're making a GUI and stuff like that. You have a bunch of windows and you don't want them to overlap but you at the same time 
you want to make make use of as much screen space as possible because you often end up in situations like this. Even now, when I have a tiling window manager, I still cannot read this full line here because it's so goddamn long here, for example. And yeah, if I had gaps here, then I would probably not even see more than uh, three of these characters here would be uh, sacrificed for the sake of gaps. If you can see what I mean, that is kind of the point of tiling window managers is to uh, not having to do horizontal scrolling. <laughs> that is basically uh, 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 the issue that you want to solve. And another issue is, of course, uh, let's say, not that, let's say you have a bunch of, of uh, uh, windows like this. Uh, now they are, of course, uh, tiled, but let's say they are floating. And let's uh, pretend that I have some important uh, like uh, work in these uh, windows. Um, when you're not using a tiling uh, window manager and you try to arrange the windows, you know, you, you, you do this, but then then you, you, for some reason, you click on, you open a, some other program from a menu or something like that. It, it pops up in, in, in the middle of the screen like this overlaying something else and then you, you realize you don't want to close the window you want to keep on working on this and yet, then you try to mm, maybe i should align it like yeah th this is good and then i can just switch like this and this but then all of a sudden you you just want to resize this window for example but instead of resizing you accidentally click this window and then that has focus you know you all of those issues uh, which is more or less always related to to kind of programming developing stuff like that it's great for web dev it's great for programming whatever but i think for most people this is just crazy to have this tiling window managers because they also create a bunch of annoying issues and they look awkward and many windows just look weird and off when they are <laughs> tiling uh, like let's open this guy send it here uh, well maybe not that bad but you see most windows or dare i say no w gui applications are designed uh, to be displayed in a tiling window manager and most of them really don't even try to make uh, uh, make them work well with tiling window managers so th th that is also uh, what, what you end up with like a lot of extra work to get like stupid applications like this uh, <laughs> work well and it, it gets even weirder with like uh, other windows like dialogue uh, small dialogue windows like uh, for example in, in, in sublime you have or what did I want to do this no whatever the save uh, dialogue window if that if windows like that is tiled it's just awkward whatever um, i think gaps is a completely unnecessary almost ridiculous feature it looks cool i i i understand the aesthetic appeal of it but aesthetic appeal is like the first thing that you sacrifice here to solve these annoying issues with uh, overlapping windows uh, not being able the, the need to horizontal scrolling constantly and stuff like that it's like i don't care i don't care about the wallpaper anything please please fix this so i don't have to resize and move my windows around constantly and then you see tiling window managers and it just falls into place for you and it's like ah that is exactly what i need what i want give me that please and then you see gaps and it's like oh that looks really cool but that now i will see much less uh, lines here and every time you see these screenshots by the way on on unix porn or whatever here everything here everything looks so neat here right uh, but the uh, this is because the Airblader has very carefully <laughs> selected what to show in his screenshot here. In reality, you get stuff like, like this instead, with long lines that you probably hasn't written yourself. Well, I have actually written this line, but whatever, you know, uh, as the one I, I uh, 
I showed you before. Whatever. Uh, you usually don't have that much control over like the text files and stuff like that that you are working on. And that's when uh, tiling window managers are nice and gaps are annoying. Uh, but it must have also been very annoying for Airblader to maintain these duplicate projects and stuff like that. And now they will get merged into one. And it, I, I, I think... Not sure how much uh, we non-GAPS users will actually benefit from this. Very little, I, I would <laughs> assume. Uh, but it will not be a negative. I really don't think so. It will. It might even be good, even for us, that like the community get collected, so to speak. We might get more useful issues uh, on the main repository and stuff like that. We might might also get more <laughs> not so good issues. Who knows? But I I actually think this will be a, a net good for everyone. Uh, but especially for the maintainers and very much especially for Airblader. Uh, I would lie if I would say that I didn't see this coming because I, uh, I don't remember if I said that in my uh, i3 review video that I made. Uh, I think I, I planned on saying it. I might have said it if I didn't in, in the video I published. I maybe did it in a... In a take I didn't publish but uh, I actually had a prediction that gaps would be the next uh, included in the next release because when you think about it two releases ago uh, window icons were introduced and I have one window here with a window icon uh, the synaptic package manager uh, and that was kind of a big, the, the, one of the largest new features added to i3. i3 had been very stable and then nothing seemed to happen. And then out, out of nowhere, window icons came. Then next year, this year, tiling drag feature is implemented, like a major feature. And the thing is, uh, window icons, they were added by Stapelberg. Uh, tiling drag was added by Ore Orestis. So it made a lot of sense that the next big feature would be uh, something coming from Airblader and and I knew this has been uh, discussed, uh, actively discussed uh, uh, merging i3 gaps here. So it, it kind of made sense that that would be the next thing to get added. But I didn't anticipate that uh, 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 it would be added this soon. 4.22 is actually planned, now Now I don't remember if I mentioned it in this video, but it, it is planned to be uh, released early, mid-December, possibly January. Um, so that's that's just cool. And we should all uh, try to try out these uh, i3gaps features. Uh, cloning uh, the re repo, building it from source and trying this stuff, uh, report bug fixes if there are any so we know that we get a good release out of this. But I'm sure they will pull this off. Um, uh, it, it will be no problemo at all. Um, well, actually, one benefit or two is like the new the, the ability to set the height of i3 bar is kind of excellent that uh, that everyone benefits from. Uh, whatever. Um, I think I can see I have a notification here. It annoys me. I hate notifications. Yeah, it is what this. I subscribe to this thread here. Okay, forty two seconds. Breaking news, breaking news. Gaps, change workspace, rendering to fix sizes with large outer gaps currently. Yeah, you see, I think these are fixes that is like fixes Airblader. You see, this is an i3, open i3 gaps issue. Oh, so this one, yeah. 
yeah, I, I, now I, I haven't read this and I don't really know what it's about, but I, I think Stapelberg now fixed an issue, uh, a long-standing I3 GAPS issue. So, so the, the version of GAPS that we get here now in the official I3 uh, uh, will be better than I3 GAPS was. Uh, it's quite exciting, it's cool that these things are happening. I, I feel very happy about all of this, for some, in a weird way. Uh, and to be fair, to be transparent and fair, I think I have even, maybe not in this thread here, but I have participated a bit in the discussion here. I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut when I should. Uh, because I, I have uh, spoken out against uh, including I3 gaps in the past, but uh, it's really not my call. I, I just think it's unnecessary, but I also 100% understand and it is good. It is good for Airblader and that, that is a much better reason than just hey, let's keep it suckless and small, you know, because this is a ridiculous feature, but blah, blah, blah. It's like, this guy shouldn't have to maintain two actually very popular uh, uh, open source software uh, projects when there is no need for it. Like, let, let's merge everything here. And it also makes package maintaining so much easier and it actually makes my life a little bit easier as well because I have this thing called i3 as in one in one way it makes it easier it also makes it harder I guess because bud bud labs i3 as i3 as a collection of shell scripts to ease the use of i3 wm no support for i3 gaps uh, and some of the scripts are actually broken uh, if they are used with i3 gaps. So if you install this from AUR, uh, I have actually added i3 gaps here as a conflict. And that means that you cannot install both i3 as and i3 gaps on Arch. You will need to remove one of them to, do, to install the other. But this, this is, in a way, not the correct way to do this. Uh, because uh, you are supposed to use this conflict when they are actually conflicting packages. For example, i3 and i3 gaps, they are conflicting packages. Providing the same set of files, uh, but they have different source, so to speak. You know, you, you understand. So they are in conflict. You cannot install both of them at the same time. But these two are not conflicting on a file system level, but uh, there is no other way to, to, to do this with Pac-Man. Uh, to say that, hey, i3 as only support, doesn't support this fork of i3. It gets really weird, like things like this will not be a thing anymore. Uh, but that also means, and that's good, I guess, for me in a way, but it also means that now I kind of need to support gaps if I want to support i3 with uh, my i3s thing. So so that's one thing. That, that's what I will uh, try to... My, my goal is to, to have this working when the next release is released of i3 with the gaps uh, stuff included. I will make a new release of this like the same day is, is my goal. Uh, that should work um, and work with gaps and I will I will create a branch uh, for gaps support or I guess I could just do it in the next branch here whatever so so I, I will work on supporting gaps and I, I kind of know what what I need to do it it, it is actually not much for work, work at all <laughs> uh, it will be fine uh, all right um, I thought we could also talk uh, quickly about um, the bug fix release here 4.21.1 I was hoping I could see the release note I couldn't can I see that here release note 4.21.1 uh, this release fixes a few rough edges uh, with regards to the newly introduced tiling drag feature 
uh, there were actually quite a lot of uh, uh, what should we say complaints maybe it's not the nicest word but that is kind of what it was about the tiling drag feature and I was one of the people who was annoyed by it a lot of the old i3 users were actually didn't like the uh, how tiling drag worked because it it did something stupid and that was that it was enabled by default when you left clicked uh, the title bar of a window and I constantly do this I left click the title bar window and drag as you can see here uh, it doesn't work when this starts tile drag that's not that is really not what I want to do and I constantly did this even when I knew about it I, I, I simply couldn't unlearn it um, and that is what they have fixed. They have added a configuration uh, uh, directory or whatever it's called. I think I have it. Config. Here it is. Tiling drag modifier. This is actually the default. So you don't need to, 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 to do this. This is the default now. The option tiling drag is at the modifier. And that means that it only starts tiling drag uh, when you press the floating modifier. Um, and drag if you want it uh, on the title bar instead you change this to title bar and now when I hold floating modifier nothing happens here uh, but now I can drag uh, the title bar instead but you can also if you want to use both so title bar modifier and now holding modifier starts that dragging the title starts here so you can choose which you want uh, I think you can also set it to off to disable it completely and now modifier does nothing dragging title resize as it should uh, so what i prefer is to have it on modifier because i still like the the functionality but i don't want it on left clicky left click dragging title bars that was annoying so that is that is basically what they have fixed there and uh, also some uh, thresholds and stuff like that when you click this it it uh, it is slightly uh, longer threshold time because people were accidentally starting the drag when they didn't mean to and stuff like that uh, and another thing they have fixed is the <laughs> the correct cursor when you do this tiling drags as you can see i get the move mouse cursor the crosshair mouse cursor that is the correct cursor you want before this bug fix release you actually got the uh, let's see if we open a floating window i think you got this cursor like the corner resize cursor it it, it was just a typo i think that is fixed um and <laughs> this one um if there are only start tiling drag when there are drop targets and this means if we go to an empty workspace here, I should also, let's say it's a title bar. I guess title bar is much better for videos because it's more obvious what I'm doing. Then. Do this and open some tiling windows here. If I start tiling drag now, of course, I can drag the title and I can drag that guy here. Nice. But let's say we only have one window on this workspace. I drag this title now as you can see nothing happens it doesn't start uh, tile drag because we only have one window one monitor one workspace one window there are there is nowhere to drag this window so it doesn't even start tile uh, drag when you uh, when you do this that might sound like obvious by like why would you even try that but that that are things that can happen and it has actually happened to me and it's actually even easier to do it when you are in full screen. Uh, now I'm holding the modifier and nothing happens. It just selects text as normal here. Uh, before this fix, you actually start the tile drag. And that got really confusing for me a couple of times when I was using vir uh, virtual machines. Where I had i3 running in the virtual machine and the virtual machine was full screen. Uh, when I was held uh, the, the floating modifier it started to tile drag the full screen virtual machine window 
when I was when I thought I was uh, moving, for example, a, a floating window. Like you, when you drag a floating window with the modifier, if I did this inside a full screen virtual machine, it instead grabbed the full screen virtual machine window. That doesn't happen as easy now. It could still happen if there are multiple drop targets. Because even if you have a full screen window, you can have multiple drop targets if you have multiple monitors. But that is just cool, because that means that if you have multiple monitors, you can use tiling drag to drag a full screen window on, onto a different monitor. It is actually quite, quite cool uh, to do it. Uh, and uh, I was actually the person who reported this uh, issue uh, with full screen uh, when I discovered it there about the virtual machines and stuff like that. So, and I was part of the discussion. I was not part of, of the solution and the code and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, raise floating windows when their border is clicked. Uh, I think that is just if you click if you just click the border before this it actually didn't raise the windows. I'm not even sure that it that I want that. But I guess it makes sense. It, it does it really matter. But before this you could resize a window without it being on top. Uh, or without it getting uh, moved at the top of the stack. But I guess it makes sense is it is always active when you resize. Does it matter? I don't think so. Is it bad? I don't think so. It's 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 just good. Uh, respect maximum border. Yeah, this was some weird thing here. I don't not really sure what it's about. Um, yeah, so those are new things here in i3. Exciting times to be an i3 user. And um, yeah, I need to get busy here now with um, uh, making sure that i3 as works well with um, uh, this new, new gaps shenanigans. Um, when that is, when I know that that it works well, when the release is out and everything and and stuff like that, I might actually make the last um, release of i3 as I have some uh, plans here, but I don't think I want to taint this video about it. It's really weird to be honest that this happens, this gaps thing stuff happens exactly now, but I think. Um, I will get back to it in, in, in a later video. Uh, it will be kind of the same thing here, you know. Uh, I3 gaps is dead, long live I3 gaps. I3 ass is about to die, long live I3 ass. And then maybe you can, uh, <laughs> can, can fill in the blanks, so to speak. Uh, and if you can't, uh, you have to find out in, in <laughs> an upcoming video, if that ever happens. Because who knows, so this is Bud Labs, this is Bud Labs. Uh, whatever, whatever. Exciting times. Uh, I'm very happy for, <laughs> especially for Airblader, as I have mentioned many times. Mr. Ingo Bilk. Finally, you can focus all your attention on just i3, archiving i3 gaps. He started as a normal, <laughs> regular riser like any one of us, you know, making a humble post here to, to Unix porn, just testing out tiling window managers, uh, making a little fork thing, then it became this. <laughs> craziness that uh, i3 gaps is and i3 gaps is really that is like the one of the corner stones and this is when when it all started was when these i3 gaps screenshots uh, showed up that's when people got completely crazy about uh, tiling window managers because gaps make tiling tiling look uh, appealing 
a, 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 or more appealing, not using gaps, then it's like, yeah, okay, I can see it looks hacker man, you are cool, you are a programmer, but that is that is too weird. It looks too weird when I cannot see my wallpaper, you know, at all times. Um, when people saw gaps, that is when they dropped the spaghetti and everyone wanted to become a gap uh, or a uh, tiling uh, person. And tiling window manager usage really exploded. And, you know, I, I don't have any numbers, but you can just speculate yourself, uh, like hypothetically. I would guess that GNOME is still king you know the the most common desktop environment it's the default on fedora it's the default on ubuntu it, it must be the most common desktop environment just because of those uh, reasons but it's also like the most uh, like cutting edge advanced desktop environment yada yada and uh, like the linux flagship desktop environment uh, you can like it, you can hate it, I hate it, by the way, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's the number one. And then you have KDE is obviously number two. How far behind GNOME it is, hard to say. It's a default on OpenSUSE, for example. Um, and it is a very cherished and uh, 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 liked desktop environment. But number three, I wonder if like tiling window managers isn't more common than for example xfce desktops i don't think it's that far off uh, and i think it might even be uh, just as popular and uh, now i include like i3 dwm sway whatever awesome q tile <laughs> xmonad all of them, let, let's just group it all into one category because that, they really are like uh, different flavors of the same thing. Um, and sure, you could say that, yeah, but the, in that case, then XFCE and Mate and all of those should also be the same. Okay, group them into the same thing. I still think that tiling window managers are larger than XFCE and Mate and Cinnamon bunch together. And the GNOME should be its own thing, and I think KDE should be its own thing in this weird category <laughs> thing I just made up in my mind here. Nevertheless, Tiling Window Manager has become very popular in the last seven years, and it all started with this screenshot. It really did. This is where. Uh, of course, tiling window managers existed long before this. Uh, it, there have been tiling window managers since since like the 70s. <laughs> it's, it's actually quite funny. Uh, you know, Atari, Atari computers, uh, they had their own desktop uh, environment uh, called GEM. And they got sued by, I think it was Apple. It might have been Microsoft, but I think it was Apple who sued, sued them over like this look and feel claims that it was too similar to the Macintosh desktop. Uh, and uh, the lawsuit, uh, or the, what, what happened was that GEM was forced into making their desktop environment a tiling <laughs> desktop environment. They were not allowed to use floating windows because that was too similar to a, a Macintosh uh, desktop. Uh, so, so they were forced by law <laughs> to, to enforce a, 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 a tiling window manager. And that was that was like early 80s, 84 or so, 85 or something like that, you know. Um, so of course it started way before that, but, the, but this like crazy, like uh, everyone using tiling window managers, that started with the gaps. That is when people saw the potential like oh so i can i can arrange windows neatly and see my wallpaper at all times incredible <laughs> it started here it started here for better and worse and now 
it will finally get merged as a feature into the official i3 branch. So it also proves that anyone can, but dreams can come true. <laughs> that is what this proves, you know. Rice can come true. <laughs> Rice can come true. Uh, I actually don't know about the state of, of gaps in other window managers, to be honest. Uh, DWM doesn't ha have it by default, I'm sure. But I know that there are patches and stuff like that. Then I actually have no idea about the other ones. Uh, if they support gaps or not. I guess it's different. Maybe they do. Maybe some of them do. I don't know if Sway does it. I think they do that. I, I'm not sure. I don't care. I think it's a ridiculous feature. Uh, that uh, causes a lot more problems than it solves. It actually doesn't solve any real problems. In my opinion. Um... And it also doesn't matter. It's not like uh, <laughs> I think that people are stupid because they use gaps. I I really don't care if you like the way it looks and feels and maybe you have so much screen estate that you never encounter. Maybe your screen always looks like Airbladers here. You have all this dead space here. There's no risk that he will get a too long horizontal line here, whatever. Uh, but uh, uh, um, and then you can afford uh, gaps in quotation mark because that is often an argument I, I have encountered when discussing this that oh, oh imagine just having 1920 resolution he cannot afford gaps there it's like well if, if I get more resolution I increase the font size so I can read it even better you know and that and then I need even less gaps font size much more important than seeing my wallpaper like parts of my wallpaper at all times look at this wallpaper it, like what is this even um whatever rant about gaps about i3 about stuff like that that is what you got in this video what the next video will hold i don't know i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a while here i have I've, I am actually quite busy now. I got a new uh, day job kind of thing. Why did I open that tab? I don't know. Uh, I got a new kind of... or can I, I got a new day job, like real world life thing that takes a lot of time and uh, makes me quite exhausted. I don't have that much time to do this stuff now, but I will try to do it anyways. Uh, but uh, try to be a bit more focused about what I'm doing here. Um, it feels like I didn't really finish the system D uh, system configuration thing there. I have some things planned for that stuff and I have some other, I, I have lots of things planned. We will see how it goes here. But thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.